What is going on guys? Victor here and today I got a very very special catch clean and cook. It's right into that transitioning of getting into fall time and there's a massive bait migration happening all across the southeast coast of Florida known as the glass minnow migration. They're these little tiny bait fish and anyone who's been seeing the recent videos I've been posting of the tarpon, it's just these tiny bait fish also known as anchovies where they're just uh, migrating up and down the beaches. But in today's video, we're gonna catch them, we're gonna clean them, and then we're gonna cook them later on, so stick around. All right guys, so what I got going on here, I got a cast net. Now this is a really good way to catch bait and these glass minnows. This is a six foot net, quarter inch mesh. Ideally, I'd wanna be using something a little bit smaller because the bigger your mesh, the higher the likelihood that these little baits are gonna get gilled or they're gonna swim through it. So I'm gonna go out there, take a gander and see what we can catch. As you guys just saw with the last throw, I got a ton of bycatch which were actually pilchards. And this little dude right here just crushed the glass windows, guys. He's got a smaller net and he told me the secret. So the pilchards were a lot more in shallow in the trough. He said to go out further for the glass windows. So I'm gonna take his advice and see what happens. barely any culture. More minnows this time again. So you basically gotta go in the water and really look to see which ones are grass minnows and which ones are pilchards when you're out there. You just gotta go look for the little shadows. You gotta go look for the smaller bait fish. Like that throw I got a lot of smaller pilchards and then more glass minnows than any of them. And then what happens is when you have a big mesh like I have here, they get gill netted, which is not a big deal because we're going to end up eating all these or freezing them for bait so there's no kill or really bycatch with it. Even these bigger pilchards right here, they're not going to go to waste. We're going to use these for bait, for snapper and stuff, freeze them up. I think this is the throw that we were looking for all day. A lot of them are gilled, but a lot of them are going to come out. So when you shake the net, probably a quarter of the ones that are actually gilled will come out and then you have a bunch that are just overlapping and the more that are gilled it seems like they, there's less and less of them that have a chance to get gilled. Oh, I got a croaker. This right here, one of the best snook baits around. We spent a lot of time trying to catch these guys. I'm going to let them go because we got no use for them today. The biggest problem is there's a lot of seaweed today and my mesh is a little bit too big but all those glass minnows are kind of scattered from here up and down the beach but right underneath the seaweed there's a big mass of them I think they're kind of seeking refuge in that and kind of shelter but then you end up with this and having to pick all this out of your catch so that's what we're doing right now we got about halfway of the cooler full and uh, I think we're gonna fill the whole thing today all right, now that we caught our glass minnows or anchovies, if you want to say, it is time to clean them and prep them to be cooked. So I've never actually worked with these little type of bait fish before, but it was very, very easy. I asked a few people and honestly, all you had to do was rip the head off as you guys see me doing here and kind of take the guts out. And when you rip the head off, the guts kind of just seem to flow out. 
they don't get stuck in there it's kind of like when you're taking the head off of a shrimp there's really not that much waste it's very easy you guys will see a little bit later as far as the scaling process is concerned but one thing that I think is really cool about YouTube and me to be able to teach you guys is also to get your input so I'm not entirely sure what exactly species of anchovy. I think it's a striped anchovy based on what I found online. But if you guys know the real you know, scientific name or the actual type, please comment in the comment section below because I'd love to learn and kind of just get the whole story of, of why these things are migrating in the first place. So now as far as prepping them after I took all the heads off, what I did is I went ahead and I kind of washed these guys really thoroughly in a salt water slurry as you guys see and I did this about three times I really just you know got in there and just mixed it around with my hands make sure all the poop and guts and seaweed and the scales just really came off because that's stuff you do not want to eat because we are going to be eating these whole uh, they are little bait fish there's no possible way you could go and flay every single one of these individually so Every time I put them into a fresh saltwater slurry, I'd mix it around and then I'd strain it and just get rid of all that nasty uh, gray silver water as you guys see. And then just, there's still a little bit of seaweed in here, you kind of knit and pick at it. And that was one of the most frustrating things with this catch and cook was cleaning them was very easy, but depending on the day that you go, it can be frustrating because there's a lot of seaweed in the water. So I went ahead and dried those guys up. Now they are ready to be uh, go in the fryer. And what I'm gonna do with this is I just took some all-purpose flour and I'm gonna season it simply with garlic powder, paprika, and salt. And that is literally the only ingredients we're gonna use. We're gonna coat our fish in it in a little plastic bag and that's it. And they're gonna be ready for the fryer. And one thing I really wanted to touch on is the fact of, you know, these catch and cooks have come so far on this channel, guys. I would have never in my life thought I'd be eating glass minnows and guess what you guys are about to see that they came out great but I cannot stress enough every single one of these videos I know I sound like a broken record but to get out of your comfort zone and to just go against common practice just because someone tells you that it's not good or it's gonna taste fishy or it's a trash fish doesn't mean it's true fish are fish eaten all around the world in thousands of different ways and I don't think that there's a single fish that is non edible unless it's poisonous or something so going back to our recipe, you guys see I put them in a plastic bag, coated them lightly, lightly with flour. I don't want too much. And then I had a pan heating up with some oil. And since I don't have a deep fryer, you know, I wanted to make sure I put in enough oil because I wasn't sure if they were going to stick to the bottom of the pan or anything. So our Minnow Mountain is ready to go. I can't believe we've waited this long to try these little anchovies. I tell you, I really admire Victor, you know, land shark fishing and Brooke, Brooke Christ Outdoors. They really explore Florida. And if you watch their videos, you know they go on a lot of adventures. But besides that, bringing home what Florida has to offer in snappers and groupers and you know I'd be here forever trying to name all the things that we catch and cook. I've always told my family we're hunter gatherers and to look at what we you know the first thought were glass minnows researched them and found out they're anchovies man they are like little french fries <laughs> not what you would expect they're they're delicious all right guys so this is going to be the final batch and what I've been doing is I'm putting it in the ladle because I don't want to just drop it directly into the pot, kind of spread them apart. But one thing is when you put them in, it seems like they're going to all be stuck together, but they really don't. They all kind of separate themselves. And I think when they crisp up, they kind of uh, turn into all little fish instead of one giant blob. And you guys heard it. Brian said they're great. If I could describe it as one thing, a seafood french fry. It, it's like a really good little seafood french fry with a little seafood kick. It's not a fishy flavor, it's it's sea. It's 
it's just good. It tastes really, really good. This is oh, this is Brick's older brother, Jed, right here. He just got home from work for a little lunch break, and he had no idea we were doing this catch and cook. What do you think? You nervous? <laughs> nah. No, I've had anchovies. You have? Yeah, I'm fried sardines. Like Not fried like this. This will be uh, something different. So, moment of truth. Pass me a plate. And that is amazing. pass me this. We got two approvals. Brooke liked them. Brooke's mom liked them. I liked them. So far, we all liked them. Well, that's my first time ever eating uh, glass minnows or anchovies, whichever you know, one, one you want to call them. And uh, I was just so excited about it. You know, different cultures eat these things all the time. And I don't know anybody that's ever cooked them. And we just cooked these things up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what have we been missing? They are just fantastic. I shared them with the rest of the people at the table, but I think I could have eaten them, eaten them all. That's how good they were. <laughs> like I said earlier, I'm, I'm a hunter-gatherer and just believe in it so much because, you know, I, I don't need to go to rock concerts or Disney World. You can, there's so many things in Florida. There's a season for everything. There's a season for these delicious little anchovies. There's duck season, there's lobster season. It just goes on and on and you can just eat good from season to season. But it's not just the eating, it's the adventure of finding what beach these, these are on and catching all the fish that are chasing them down the beach. I just love eating, catch, and cook. It's my favorite thing. I had no idea that I was gonna get to have some of these, so it was a real treat. I mean, you figure everything out in the ocean is eating these, so why not us? And everyone was saying they're like potato chips, you couldn't just have one. So they looked a little different from anything you've ever probably had, but it's definitely not something to be squeamish about. I mean, it just, the, the flavor, it's indescribable. It was fantastic. Um, I hope we get more of these soon because I can't stop eating them. It was fun. It was different, it was fun. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta break the silence because so Brooke and her mom liked them, but they didn't love them. Like me, Brian, and Jed really liked them. And the way I like to eat them is I put a little bit of lemon on towards the end because it is a little bit oily, but that lemon really makes them pop. And it was, it's not a fishy flavor. It's a, a rich seafood flavor. Like everyone said, it's it's like chips. You can't stop eating them and they're so good. And going back to what Brian said, I've grown up fishing my whole life and we've seen people year after year chased after glass minnows. I mean, going and making trips up and down the beach. And there's a reason people did it because they are so damn good and they're actually really expensive in markets. So you guys, like I preach everything on this channel, don't knock it till you try it. There are no such thing as trash fish, just trash cooks. What are you gonna, gonna say, bro? I was gonna say that. But um, it's funny, because on the beach, every single person that walked past us was like, what are you gonna do with those? Because no one would ever expect you to eat them. Every single person was like, are you gonna use those as bait? And we're like, no, we're gonna eat them. They're like, what? <laughs> yeah. They're like, we heard you use them as bait, but you're actually gonna eat them? Like, how do you do that? You know, like, no one actually does that. And it's just like so great that Victor wants to try all these things and show you guys that there really is no such thing as trash fish, just trash <laughs> cooks. Yeah, it's true. I mean, we've eaten bait and it, ta it came out great. And it was so easy to do. It's a little time consuming, but like Brian was saying, you get a big group of people and you can make it into a fun event where, you know, just sit back, drink some beers, everyone's cleaning and cooking and frying and you eat, and eat them as they come off the frying pan. Very easy. And if you guys get skunked one day, eat your bait. Just try it. Just try it for me. That's it. So until that next video, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video. Bye.